Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ASUS ROG Summer 2015 Hearthstone Tournament. I'm Liquid Monk. Join with me, as always, is Liquid Savitz, and look who's here. Liquid Show, how are you doing today, Show? Doing well today, at least. Uh, not the first day, because I lost, but <laughs> today is fine. Yeah, first uh, ever try Liquid Cast. Show, I believe this is the first time that you've ever casted Hearthstone, at least outside of Sea Story Cup, I guess? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I'm sure you'll wow. do fine. Wow. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Don't sap me, Twitch. <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna actually getting in our first semifinals. It's just pretty exciting. We're down to four players already, and the first two will be Powder versus Hoy. Do you have any favorites there, Show? If I were a betting man, I would bet on Hoy. Uh, he's been a previous champion, so he knows how to become one again, and that's really favorable. And I think he has more like LAN experience, even though Powder has participated in Gfinity before as well. Uh, but overall, I think Hoi is the favorite, and he also has a better lineup, I believe, against yeah. Uh, Powder. Yeah, for sure. The, the, the lineup that uh, that Powder is bringing has a lot of big game hunters in it. But what do you hunt from Hoi? There's not that many things. Hoi is playing Zoo, okay, there might be something there, but still, like uh, those those big game hunters might really hurt him in the Contra Warrior. And what what is the Contra Warrior even good against? Yeah, it just felt like going into the round of eight, these players had slightly different strategies. It felt like Powder was trying to counter his round of eight opponent, Life Coach. Meanwhile, Hoy just went with like an all around lineup that he always brings to every single tournament. And we can see the lineups right here, and including the bands. Yeah, Hoy banning the Druid. Oh, sorry, Hoy banning the. Hunter. Hunter, yes. And the Powder bang putting the Druid. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Powder also banned the Druid against Life Coach, and his lineup does seem to be pretty weak against Druid. His warrior is a control warrior, after all. Um, Malagos Warlock that he's bringing is not that great against Druid either. No. It's like average at best. But it's not completely hopeless here, and like Powder has been playing really well. And uh, that control warrior, actually, now that I, I look at it, I mean, it's not that bad against something like Patrons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly not. Um, yeah. My, my pick of the tournament, of course, is mm -hmm. Hoy. Do you have any predictions of the final four, first of all? It's Hoy, Powder, Tom, and our last player is... Vortex. Vortex. Um, I would say Tom would win uh, that much. So it's going to be Tom against uh, Hoy. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Powder would win this because he already beat Life Coach, which was probably my favorite going into the... Uh, round of 16, so uh, he's on fire now, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is a big, big game right here, and, and we have the first game getting started right now. I can't wait to see what happens. And there's the control warrior. We have seen uh, a lot of warrior bans and a lot of patron picks, but uh, Powder, I believe, is the only one so far that we have seen play the control warrior. And it, it was okay against the life coach, even though uh, on, on paper it didn't look that good. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that neither warrior was banned because, of course, we have the warrior expert with us here, Show. So you haven't played Control Warrior in a while. Why is that? Uh, Pigeon's just simply better. Like, uh, better overall, uh, I guess. But uh, there's some matchup where Control Warrior is better than Patreon, but mostly Patreon is just better right now. Yeah, yeah Patreon has a lot of duels to deal with those annoying acro decks in the ladder, at least. Yeah. With all those whirlwind effects, you can clear the the paladin one once and the hunter uh, hunter uh, small minions as well. Well, what about this matchup? If you knew you were going against hybrid hunter, which um, type of warrior would you prefer to play? I would still prefer patron. Uh, th even though um, control warrior is better against the more aggressive ones, but this aggressive variant of hunter does run high mint, I believe, and shredder, which can yeah. be problematic for uh, control warrior. But usually, Control Warrior is better against uh, the full face hunter, but uh, Patron is overall better, I think. That, Still. that cruel Taskmaster right now is giving a lot of uh, headache to Hoi. He really wanted to play the Knife Juggler here, but it doesn't look that good because of the cruel task. Yeah. Yeah. I think you just go with Animal Companion here. Yeah. And hope it's not tougher. <laughs> yeah, Huffer would be Huffer would be awful. Hope it's not Huffer. I've never yeah. heard that. Before. Yeah, that's that's pretty rare, but this is one of those situations where it would absolutely suck. Okay, another Huffer. <laughs> Reverse Huffer as some may call it. <laughs> right, right. That seems to be a pretty easy turn here. Yeah, with the Dacolite, how do you say no to it? I mean 
I don't really see any point in playing the armor smith over it. The acolyte is more a mana efficient, and uh, with that Leoc on board, it looks like it might just get to draw two cards. Now, we've seen a lot of, uh, in fact, all modern control warrior lists run double brawl. Do you think it's really good in this matchup, or um, would you rather maybe have something like Emperor or maybe another big threat? I would rather have an Owl in that spot, uh, for sure. And uh, it's more of a surprise factor, I think. I think Hoy would know that there's double brawl in this deck, so he will most likely play around it, and then it doesn't become as effective. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. Uh the, the surprise factor in it is a, is a big deal. Oh, that Fiery Vorex is, um, is a really nice card to have here. Let's him deal with the Leoc easily. He can even play the Armor Smith here. I guess trade with the Cyan this. Yeah. It just seems that Powder is just curving out so well every single turn. Yeah. Ha he nice. has a perfect answer every single time as well. Like, I was looking at it on the earlier turns. Uh, I was thinking the only thing missing is the weapon, and then he even drew that. It doesn't get much better than this when you're the Warrior player. Yeah, it's looking really good for Powder. Uh, there's one problem though, uh, it's always the high main. If you can, can't be deal with the high main, uh, it can uh, change the pace of the game, even though you got this kind of start as oh, a warrior. Yeah. The high main, I even if you can deal with it as a warrior, you usually need to use like two, two or three cards or two and a half cards just to deal with it. Yeah. It's, it's quite painful. You even, I think you even keep uh, high main against like control warrior if you know it. Uh, in your starting hand, that's wow. how good it is. Control Warrior does have some tools to deal with it, like the two shield slams and uh, and the executes, but those are still a bit like it's not exactly perfect because you, you don't get to silence it before you, you shield slam it or so. Wow, that ac second acolyte might be huge. Let's see if the juggles land on it. Good sequencing here from Powder playing the acolyte, absolutely, first. probably yeah. knowing that he plays snakes. No juggles to the Acolyte just yet. No uh, juggles at all. That was a, bit, a little bit unfortunate by Powder, but he did get to keep his uh, armor smith alive. But he definitely wanted the juggles to hit the Acolyte. Would have been some free cards for him, potentially even, even two, two extra cards. Yeah. That's, a, that's actually a pretty big deal. I mean, drawing two extra cards, drawing no extra cards. <laughs> It's uh, kind of like this subtle thing, but uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a big deal. And also you get some armor as well, yeah. having the armor smith on the field. It looks like the Acolyte is still going to be drawing some extra cards, looking at, at, uh, at Hoei's hand right now. So it's not a, a complete disaster that those juggles didn't hit. Yeah, not, like usually the knife juggler in combination with this game cap somewhat oh, locks out the right. game. Oh wow, this is He really wanted to deny those extra draws. Yeah. Uh, wrapping your opponent up to 7 mana, it's it's generally not as bad these days because I don't think any control warrior runs Baron Geddon anymore. Uh, yeah, it has been yeah. kind of faded out of the meta. Oh, that's a great pickup. He, now he has an easy way to deal 1 damage to that. Uh, to that the only problem goal. here is that he cannot develop anything else other than the crew. That is I true. Guess, I guess he can play shield block, which is always nice. So he utilizes all the mana crystals at least. Yeah. yeah. The, the other problem is even with eight mana, he doesn't have a great way to deal with the high main coming up. Yeah, it's a, it's a problem for sure. That was also the last cruel taskmaster. So, so with the Chrome in his hand and the Alex Raza, after the Alex Raza, if he wanted to go face with the Chrome, he, he probably won't won't get an activator for it. I think we saw one. What's the name of the card? Revenge. revenge. Yeah. Yes, revenge. So, it, so there could be that. But obviously the Cruel Taskmaster would be way better. Yeah. That's also great information from Poi to know that Revenge does exist in Powder's deck. We saw Life Coach not really playing around around it, and he was like kind of punished. But then again, as a hundred player, can you really play around Revenge too much? Oh, what a card! <sighs> I guess if you miss like one or two damage, then maybe. But if you're missing more than that, probably not. Another great top deck by Powder here. Yeah, that is amazing. That is just perfect. You can even get a minion out there. Probably the shield maiden. Well, obviously the shield maiden. You don't want a Harrison here. You know that there's uh, there's two weapons at least in the in Hoya's deck. Oh, the brawl could also be fine, but uh, I think I like the shield maiden a little bit more because yeah. the brawl is most likely to, to let the hunter still have one minion out, and, and this way he has five power on the board. His opponent only has four. Yeah. yeah, and Brawl is also kind of an answer for Doctor Boom, which is turn seven right That's now. That's true, and he he does know that uh, that. Uh, Oh, he has the, has the boom somewhere in his deck. 
if you hide, you just you gotta kill commanders, right? Like, like you, there's no way you can deal enough direct damage. Power yeah. is still at 29. You gotta go for the board. Well, I would imagine so. It's a pretty bad spot when you have to use the kill commands on, on minions like this. Well, how much... Well, I'm not completely sure, because... Does that okay. shield maiden really threaten too much? I guess it clears out the knife juggler? The, this, this is gonna get punished by Brawl, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He kind of he was he thought that uh, going into that control type of play style uh, gives him no chance to win at all. This is basically a desperation play right here. If he went for that kill commander, the, the warrior simply has more uh, how to put it more powerful late game cards, and uh, that's not uh, a winning line. So this is in case that there is no brawl, this would give him the best possible uh, situation. Unfortunately, there is the brawl. Here we go. Oh, oh, that's that was the best that was possible. Yeah, that's, yeah, but he's still way behind. He needs to top deck the second time, man. Oh! oh! You called it. <laughs> Can't believe it just happened. It could have been that or, or Dr. Boom, but those were definitely the two best cards he could have hoped for. Uh, you play uh, Creeper here, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna get the extra damage. You already seen the brawl. And he might might get something like quick shot, and so then it's easier. Like you get, you might even get to use the use the card that you draw from the quick shot. I don't think there's any downside to, to playing the creeper because you, you even get the extra juggle. Yeah. So you only miss one damage yeah. basically. And it will get that one. Okay. He just to give it here. Yeah. I'm not sure why exactly. Yeah. Wrong. Chrome into juggler, maybe? Yeah, I wouldn't mind the uh, Grimash on the juggler. You get the armor up as well. Yeah, it's not too bad, and it contests the high man. The high man can trade for it, but just a kill command is not enough, because the Chrome will still be at 6 HP. Yeah. That's true. Now, are we actually sure that Hoi has Dr. Boom in his deck? I think. Uh, I think we saw it in some, but I'm actually not sure. Yeah, Maybe because it wasn't Hoi. Everybody's been playing Hunter, so I might be mixing it up. A oh, bit. yeah. This is exactly what I was talking about, like with the quick shot. Because now he gets to do it, but he won't get to play the card that he actually draws from it. Okay, he. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's actually, actually pretty like good. A perfect card. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is amazing. But you, you do have a yeah. point now. Essentially, um, he misses a hero power. Yeah. Yeah. So he would have made. He would have dealt more damage. He would have dealt playing. about yeah. two damage from the attack from the Hunter Creeper. Plus the knife juggler juggle. So yeah. essentially, powder would be at 5 HP now. But yes. this is pretty amazing. I mean, yeah. I mean, that high main top deck right there, that was so huge. Without yeah. the high main, it, it felt like the game was over. Yeah, you felt like powder had like pretty much every answer against everything that Hoi had, but it's yeah. just double high main is just way too powerful. Even so against strong. almost the nuts from powder. I don't yeah. know if I. I like this. Like, with no cards in hand, I think you're good just playing the Belcher. And with what, with what uh, Hoi has on the board, it, the slime would have survived. So on the next turn, you, you unless there's a like, way to remove the slime, the slime would have been able to take this freezing drop, which would have allowed him to hit the Chroma. I completely agree with you. There was no reason to attack there. Uh, there's one argument if he draws a bow, but that's mm -hmm. yeah. so unlikely. Uh, huh. Uh, it's not, not bad. Sure. Like, uh, yeah. I guess it's okay. I mean, I'm trying to compare it to the other com companion. I'm trying to figure out which one was, <laughs> was like the best one. Maybe Leo might yeah. have been okay. Even though then the Harrison gets to kill it kind of for free. That actually might be the best one because there's no easy way to deal that. Yeah. Like one damage. Yeah. Now. Um, this would be the time for revenge. Yeah, by the exactly. Way. I'm just gonna put exactly. It out there. Well, one more chance for revenge. That's he didn't get his revenge. The, the safe play here is Alex yourself, of course. Um, and, uh, trade with Hopper. Oh, it feels so <laughs> bad. But if there's no boom in the deck, that's his last power minion, I, I guess. He, I think you gotta save the Alex here. It's like, why is, what, what's, what's the blame? What, what can he hope for? He, he could hope for the shield block into the revenge. He could also... Shield could, um, block into Brawl, maybe, even? Uh, and then you hit the high mid. Yeah. Yeah. It would be okay, I guess. 
If he just shield blocks, he can't. If, if the card ends up being bad, he can't play any minions yeah. at all. That feels pretty bad. Shield block oh, into man. shield block even into execute would be decent. Trading a five four down to four one. <laughs> like that's, oh, that is so horrible. That is actually a good draw. Yeah, that's pretty good. So Alex Trasa is gone. He has to draw the revenge here. I feel like if he gets the revenge, how, how does he lose from there though? Because he, he gets the shield. Oh, oh. wow. Okay, this is getting exciting. Okay. Can he like race here? <laughs> if it just shield made an end of no way. He could go up to 13, he could still shield slam uh, like the Wolf Rider maybe. You can the bigger, if there's anything else but the brawl. No, you can shield maiden, shield slam the high main and run your Alex into the Wolf Rider. That but it's I, I think it might be best to just brawl here, because he, he does have the shield maiden, so he could heal up back up next. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I agree with, the, with, with the that. Brawl, there will also be one, at best, two power minion on the board. So it, it could be kind of easy to maybe stabilize with that. Lothab might punish not brawling the previous turn as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, those are going to be tricky to clear, but again, like, does he draw the revenge? Another thing to consider is there, Powder has used so many life gain cards in his uh, deck so far, he's used one sh shield block. Left the shield no, two team. shield blocks, right? Yeah. One shield maiden. At least one armor smith. Yeah, well, at least one armor smith. So he de he's like pretty much at this life total, and he's not going to regain any more. He would have been better off playing that uh, brawl last time, it seems. Hmm. He could have shield still played the shield maiden. He could have cleared most of that stuff. Yeah, you also have to notice that um, Powder drew his Emperor Thursday pretty early, but he's been put on so much pressure that he yeah, hasn't had a he chance to do it. Still a pretty tenuous game. Yeah. Maybe like just Grom. From yeah. Like I think you play Emperor actually. Hmm. Okay, so uh, Hoi with the, the three power on the board, he needs something like a eagle or bow or a quick shot. And this, I believe that's one kill command left as well. Iron Big Owl, that's not gonna do it. Base. Yeah, there's no way he's yeah, trading. Yeah, it has, <laughs> has to be the place. <laughs> He's countering damage, but you know what? Uh, the there's still he knows that there's a Grom in hand, but almost certainly there's no there's no cruel taskmasters. Those have been both used, and there's no whirlwind. If your opponent runs revenge, there's no way he's running yeah, whirlwind. Yeah, it's, it's only the revenge. So it's not he's, he's considering playing the owl here. I wouldn't mind seeing it. He already see one uh, Belcher. Mm. That's probably pretty much the only target for the owl. He can yeah, also I save mean, it for the kill command. Which well, can be crucial. Yeah. It, it's probably difficult to remove with just with the two one party. That two damage might be really relevant. Like, what do you save it for? If if it saves, I guess it's for the last Belcher. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing. Doctor Boom doesn't really help. Huh. I, I think it kind of does. So we just play it and set up lethal. I yeah, that's fair enough. It does allow him to armor up. So that's like a decent minion. It's not like the greatest throw, but. Do you just go for face, clear off the 2-2, two, two, leave off... With the, with do you leave up a beast is the question. I don't think it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, to kill master, but, way. but I mean, he's actually... Uh, is he, no, but he, he needs to set up the lethal, I think. How does he win if he, if he attacks into both of the beasts here? He, he wouldn't have enough to end the game, so... I, I feel like maybe kill the, kill the hyena with the emperor, go face for 8, drop the doctor, boom. Yeah, that, that would set up set it up for next. He time. needs to play a minion anyway, and uh, and when he plays yeah. a minion, he will die to unleash no matter what. So, yeah. Doctor Boom sets up lethal for next. Yeah, turn. it has to be that because uh, you can't really grow because you got armor. Up. You don't want to brawl. This your minions are better than theirs. Yeah, it has to be. The boom. Even if you don't like the boom, then it's uh, just uh, looks like the only plan. This is this might be the draw that decides the game. Does he find that missing uh, two damage? Oh. oh my goodness, that is brutal. Both Eagle Horn Bow still in the deck, I believe. <laughs> one quick shot, one kill command. Abusive search and potentially. So many cards, but instead he drew an owl into scientist. Yep. 
Powder seems pretty impressed at that game. Wow. Yeah. What if he played the Owl there? It might have buy him one more turn. Because uh, in that case, the Alex Trasa could not attack face. It would have had to kill a minion. So yeah. that would have been 8 less. He would have stayed at 28. He might have survived one more turn. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Owl was probably the correct play. Yeah, so, so yeah. He's one just more draw with that then. Yeah, playing just around the one Belcher might have cost Hoge that one turn. It might have cost mm -hmm. him the game. But, I mean, in that scenario, it's really hard. It's really difficult to think through all the it possibilities. Really is. Yeah. And uh, if he felt like he has a lot of time, just keeping that for for, for the Eaglehorn bow to be to be the the lethal with the Owl, if, if there was another Belcher, it, yeah. it would have been really nice. But yeah. uh, Powder's yeah. Control Warrior doing really well yeah. in this tournament so far. Is it 100% yeah. win rate too? Yes, 100% win rate wow. with 2-0 record. Amazing. <laughs> Maybe the next warrior you got. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're passing him a long show. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was such a back and forth game. It looked like Powder was going to win it easily, but then the second high main came, and yeah. uh, it was looking like it was Hoge game then for a while. Well, you know, at least this is Hunter, and Hunter is just like one of the best decks in the metagame. Mm -hmm. Not only that, he's facing off against Malagos Warlock. I actually talked to Powder, and he said uh, Hunter is fine for Malagos. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of heals in it. Yeah, it's true. I wouldn't. I didn't. I don't agree with it, but uh, he, he played Malagos more than me, so he probably knows what he's yeah. talking about. That model coin, but it's so huge. Otherwise, the, the Leopard Norman would have dealt like six damage, maybe even more. Because yeah. if you don't kill it right there, it's gonna be there for multiple times. It's not just that it gets to attack you one extra time, it's gonna attack you like four times. <laughs> I, I do feel like the problem with Malaloc against Hunter is um, even though you do have those heals, like, you don't have like a great way to come back into the game. Like, it, it feels like handlock basically without Molten Giants. Yeah, exactly. And Molten is kind of the way to win against Hunter most of the time. Yeah, that's, that's like the swing turn right there. That's that's where you you start uh, pressuring your opponent. Like, like I feel like all the Malaglock cards are like very fair, and uh, the Hunter cards are also like fair, but they also do the Avisher face at the same time. Whereas like Molten Giant is far from fair. That's yeah, another that really sense. nice turn from Powder turn. That dark bomb with the coil, so smooth. The Hunter is curving out nicely though. Glaive took a uh, Hunter Creeper, right? Probably, to maximize yeah. the yeah, mana. going on curve. It's really mana efficient and... Uh, yeah. I mean, if you want just more uh, stats on board, I guess Animal Companion would be a bit... But, uh, I, I like this mana. Yeah. Seems so efficient. Glaze Bazooka, just in general, in Hybrid Hunter these days, it feels um, less common um, like than 50%. What's your opinion on that show? Uh, I, I kind of like it, but uh, there's so many other good stuff that you want to run. Uh, so um, I don't mind seeing it, uh, especially in a Hybrid Hunter where you have uh, more uh, uh, one drops, then it becomes even stronger. I've been really liking Clive Zukas, especially in the Hunter Mirror matches. I feel like it's been so huge, it kills all the two drops. Yeah, and you probably expect so many Hunter Mirror yeah, matches. Yeah, like everybody yeah. seems to be playing Hunter. Hunter is probably the most played class uh, yeah. in this tournament, I would assume. Like everyone That's has Hunter in this tournament. I'm trying tournament. to think if there is even one player who is not playing Hunter. Yeah, yeah I mean, there are players like Tice, for example. He's not bringing Warrior, but he's bringing Hunter. I think you don't first. Or do you? Uh, yeah, you don't first, right? That's I, not I actually, I'm wondering. Playing to win. No, I don't like this. W would you actually first. have taunted the previous turn instead of Blackwing Corruptor? That was also a viable Maybe. option. But at least here, I, I don't think that healing is going to be enough, and the Belcher is getting uh, getting worse. Like, the difference with this and is uh, this and the Belcher is that you get a three three instead of a three five, and with, with also the death rattle. The heal, but you were not really in an immediate threat of dying. I don't see a reason to play this. <laughs> uh, I don't know why he would play the heal, but yeah. I guess maybe maybe because of the freezing trap, because this forces uh, the hunter to trade for it later on the freezing. But still, I, I would value that heal, but yeah. a little bit higher. At least there is a shadow flame, I believe. In oh yeah, and he has an owl as well, so he can he can get a, get the full clear. Oh, what a draw! Yeah, that is a big It's not for this turn, but yeah. it will be useful later. And he can even take up the Owl for the high mid. So high mid won't be a problem if he freezing traps this Owl. Oh, yeah. You go hard, though. 
Well, now, you, now he probably doesn't want to attack because of that... Uh, because of that bow, you don't want to give extra bow charge. Yeah. And yeah. if you just play the heal bot here, oh wow, even far here. If you just play heal bot here, maybe powder or yeah, maybe Hoy will be forced to bow down that heal bot. He will be yeah. for sure. He, Absolutely. That is the play, I think. It doesn't feel that great, but it's actually the best yeah. play here. Heal bot, maybe even tap. Uh, probably not. You're like you're <laughs> against Hunter, and you have like so many good cards. I don't think Farseer Defender is that bad either. That would be more mana efficient, putting more stats on the board, putting more pressure on. Yeah, and Farseer Defender, that also means your opponent can't kill off that Farseer and yeah. pass it back to your hand. There would be so much more stats, so I might have leaned towards that, but I can understand this too. Oh, that's... Well, the kill command is going to be bad if you want to draw with the quick shot. But at so least now he... Um, he can save the... Yeah, he can oh. save the bow charge. Yeah. Sure. That was the last heal, but so there's no more heals coming aside from that Farsia. This is pretty interesting. So the owl will get bounced back. Yep. And then it, like, I would imagine Bel Belcher with Farsia. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's I was wondering. Nice. Yeah, I was wondering if. Uh, like Powder might even have considered like clearing off the owl just yeah. in preparation for the high main. But then he even lost his weapon. Yeah, so yeah, that's a pretty good move from Powder right there just to attack that turn instead of waiting. Really there might be a way for um, for Powder to like get past that taunt and kill off the owl, for example. I don't think you owl though. I think you just raise here. Play a five drop and though. Okay, it seems like he wants to play defensive. It's a little bit weak when I'm leaving, but still, uh, still alright. No! Oh. There is that. The Belter is going to soak up a lot of those. So after the bow attack, he's gonna still have to send two dogs into it. The two dogs into the slime, so he, he will have two remaining after. <laughs> Look at Powder's reaction there. You had that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually not that bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah. I guess the, the big problem is the... Powder has used both heal bots and he used one Earthering Farseer, so there's probably no more heals left in the deck. And there's not nothing even like Jiraxxus in this deck. So what you see is what you get. Powder is going to be at 11 life or lower for the rest of the game, and now he's on a 6 turn clock. That defender is going to be... Uh, yeah. It's going to be the, the key card here. Let's see if it will be good enough. Oh, no uh, oh. Argus? He has to Argus for sure. There's no yeah. way you don't Argus here. That's what lets I, you go face. I would have liked to see the uh, the Azure Drake instead of the Twilight Drakes here, actually. Yeah, like that the, enough. Like, the extra health doesn't really matter yeah. too much. Yeah. Oh! Well, that needs well, to at, be at least, at least you can kill it off. Can't kill it, yeah. But like again, the only way to get past that taunt is with an L anyway, mm -hmm. and that L is especially effective on the Twilight Drake. It is. So again, I'd probably would to like to see Azure Drake the previous turn. Yeah. All right. Well, drawing for it. So uh, it's probably lethal next turn, right? He can hit for seven now, and he's, he will have fifteen on board. Yes. Yeah. So this draw from Boy better be a good one. No. Not good enough. Was there any draw that could save uh, Hoy here? Probably not. A uh, quick shot into Owl. That would have done it. Yeah. If he had um, a quick shot. But did he quick shot twice? I think, he I think only once. once. Yeah. yeah, so he could have played the Wolf Friday quick shot phase and then, uh, then get the Owl from that. Yeah, so, so that would have done it. So surprisingly, for the second time in a row, Powder's Malaluck beat a Hybrid Hunter. But you know what? I don't think they were really representative games because. In both games, Powder drew both heal bots, and in this game, he drew the Earthering Farseer. Oh, yeah. yeah. He also had a really good uh, early game yeah, early with yeah. Mortal it's Coil, so Dark yeah. Bomb. And in addition, he got both taunts in his deck. That deck typically only has one Argus and one Sludge Belcher, and he drew them both. Yeah. I think Powder maybe played a little bit too defensive. I feel like he should have been uh, trying to push for some damage while with the, with the taunt. So there was like uh, some premature uh, heal bots. In my opinion, but he, he was still, uh, like overall he played really well, and uh, that, that Malulok didn't look too bad. 
Yeah, now we're seeing the zoo from Powder. Or sorry, we're seeing the Druid from Powder. And again, he's bringing the mind control tech. We saw in his match against RDU where Powder's opening turns were something along the lines of coin shade or innervate shade into wall growth into mind control tech against Agro Paladin. Yeah, that, that mind control te tech, which is right, right in his hand right now, is the reason why he's, he advanced. Because it was actually yeah. it was the turning point of that game in that five, ga five game series. It was the final game, and uh, the MC deck just. Uh, <laughs> it, it's amazing when you get to pull it off. 3 mana, 3 3, and if you steal something like a juggler, Nerubian egg, almost anything. It can, it can win games alone. Alright, riding the juggler, really important. The juggler yeah. adds up to so much damage if you don't do it straight away. Sure, just play out your hands. Do you just play the mind control tech here? Yeah, I guess I'm wondering you do, that. right? Probably, yeah. There's nothing else to do. He, he might. I, I can't blame him for not playing it, but uh, the hero power just feels so weak. We're gonna see if he is gonna get punished for it, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, there could be a scenario where. Probably he just like drops a few minions on the board, never up to four. Could be. I mean, Hoi knows that there's an, an MC deck. That's an important one, though. Yeah, the swipe here would feel really bad because you actually get the imp now. They fix the yeah, the bug, bug was right? fixed, so uh, it doesn't appear the one. It used to used to be so that the, the AOE effect from the swipe happened after the the four on that main target, but nowadays uh, it uh, it doesn't kill it anymore. So it happens simultaneously. Now my control uh, tech might come down. Yes, he can hero power the imp can boss and then go for the MC deck. Or brought the one on it. Just hope not to get that. Uh, not to get that one one in. Anything else seems off quite alright. Or he can save it for later on, I suppose. Okay, so he not with, feeling the pressure yet. Yeah, with this play, he wants a better chance of stealing something really good. Yeah, I mean, I think that's an alright play. There's only six power on the board, so he's not in any any rush to play the MC deck. It's also kind of more mana efficient because uh, the hero power doesn't feel all that good there. Or, or the Wrath one. It might be a trap here just to Lotheb. Yeah. Like with Lotheb you're expecting, hey, I locked my opponent out out of all his possible turns, but my control tech is not locked oh, out. Oh man. And... That's the MC tech. Yeah, with that m MC tech, even if he steals like the worst minion, the Defender of Argus, it's like, okay. But if he steals anything else, it's wow. completely game changing. This is going to be huge. Well done by Powder to set this situation up. Anything else but the Defender, okay. and he's, just, he's like, okay. okay. Not too bad. Not bad. Not the best one, but still pretty good. Can even hero power the imp here. Yeah. And we see it again that MC is completely turning around again. I remember you were actually the first one I saw playing MC Tech in Druid and yeah, uh, doing think, really well with it. Yeah, I, I really think that one one is quite good. I, I played one uh, one of those in my uh, in my Druid list quite often. It's actually decent even against patrons, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah because often um, you can steal a patron and the patron already has charged, so you can clear off yeah. clear off a second patron. It's also another one, another three drop because uh, you don't always get the shades and uh, there's not that much to do in turn three in that case. It's also a pretty cool innovation in Druid. I mean, Druid has been around forever, yes. but it's just like no one has thought of putting in my control tech until like around four or five months ago. Yeah, it's not exactly anything new, but uh, it's pretty sweet. And so much value in the tower. So. Oh, man. Like it's a 5-1, but there's no no easy way to deal that one damage to it. That's probably the most her um, effective Harrison Jones I've ever seen against Zoo. Without a weapon, yeah. Oh, wow, well, this that's why. Amazing. Interestingly enough, that Nerubian egg, even though it's silent, zero two, it's still going to be useful later because of the Savage Draw. Let's see if Ho Hoi can uh, pick up something to get him out of this. Doctor, Dr. Boom. Yeah, Dr. Boom not even that amazing. No, it's not even that good. How much damage is this? Let's count it up. 
So he has 8 on board. With the roar, he can deal another 8. With with the swipe, 8 plus 8 plus 4. He has it. This is, this is yeah. it. That's lethal right there. That's the game. He's counting. Yeah, he's tell. counting. He's double counting. Just making sure. There's so much on the line. The roar will bu buff his minions. It will add extra 8 damage. Okay, <laughs> he's going to be favorite. Just making sure. Absolutely sure. This is it. This is the moment. It's for the spot at finals. Yes. All right. Got it. <laughs> Very nice. Powder taking 3 0 victory over Hawaii. That seemed pretty easy, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Powder, even though he got like some not too great matchups, he was still able to pull it out. I mean, Druid versus Zoo bad matchup and even the previous matchup hunter versus the uh, malagos lock that he had it's also a bad matchup for him yeah i think the key card here was obviously the Michael the right. yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't hero power in turn three you should play the three three and the, now that he played it on turn five and just stealing that it it made yeah. me look like an idiot but okay yeah i would <laughs> also play the Michael. yeah i would have played it every yeah. time but it really paid off to hold on to it well show uh, unfortunately we have to say goodbye to you right now and will recombobulate you into powder. <laughs> how, how are you feeling? Very good. Very good. That seemed easy for you. Um, well, Hearthstone is quite easy when you draw the best cards <laughs> against the matchup three times in a row. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, the first game was pretty back and forth. With, yeah. with the second high man coming down, it, it got really close. Yeah, the first game, I thought I was dead for sure. Yeah. Like, when he, when he conceded, I was like, what? Yeah. Because, um, like, he changed his list a little bit, but it was almost the same as mm -hmm. before. So I couldn't think of one card that he would keep in his hand that would, like, not kill me. Iron Big Owl. Uh, yeah, oh. it was Iron Big Owl. I didn't think of that. I guess that's the only one. I thought it was Abusive Sergeant. So, like, I was contemplating brawling, <laughs> uh, hoping one of mine lived, but then I was like, whatever. Yeah, if, if he has it, it's like, I can't brawl here. In that no. first game, you seem to have, like, all the right responses in your opening hand, but just because there were, like, two high mains, it seemed really difficult for you. Um, yeah, I was missing the shield slams and the executes in the beginning. Uh, I mean, executes the whole game, so then it's kind of hard dealing with the high mains, especially uh, when you don't see an owl or you t if you don't run it. Um, I mean, I, I got the matchups I yeah. wanted, and I was like, the, the control warrior, the hunter was probably the easiest matchup, so. We were waiting on the revenge. We saw it in your, in your quarterfinal match. Uh, you never drew it, but you were still able to take it out. Because the yeah. revenge would have been amazing on any, yeah. turn, any turn given in the, in the entire game. But uh, yeah, pretty cool series, and uh, that game also. Yeah, Powder, this is your first finals. How are you feeling against your two potential opponents? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I mean, I've been in so many top fours. Or, I mean, so many, I shouldn't say, but the last two tournaments I've gotten top eight, I got top four as well and lost in the semifinal. So it feels good to go all the way, and I'm just happy. I mean, I can just play the final now and just be content with where I am. Of course, I want to win, but I'm very happy for, with second place as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you already earned yourself, I believe, $5,000 and 50 uh, World Championship points. So not bad, but you can still not double bad. it up uh, <laughs> in, the, in the last game. <laughs> yeah, your next match will either be against Tom or Vortex. Who would you prefer? Um, doesn't really matter that much uh, in lineup-wise. Both of them have some things that are bad against me, some things have, uh, and some that are good. Uh, I kind of like the, that Vortex has Zoo, so uh, that wouldn't be too bad, but then again, Tom has Rogue. It's not too bad against me either. So, I mean, that's pretty good for me too, so we'll see. Yeah. Well, congrats yet again, and you should get ready for the finals. I should. Good luck, man. I should. Thank you. Good luck. Mm -hmm. uh, if we can take a look at the brackets right now, we have uh, Powder advancing to the finals even, and Right after this, in about 10 minutes, I'd say, mm -hmm. we're going to have Vortex versus Tom 60229. We're going to go to a short commercial break, but right after, we'll have our second semifinals. See you then.